in other words, the key thing here is that they didn't just break into a tenant uh, infrastructure that was running on AWS. Uh, in other words, just the data of a particular company, which is something that happens from time to time. But they broke into a third party uh, integration provider that provided access to 39 companies. And so that's a bit of a, uh, uh, you know, of a uh, award uh, for the for the hackers that are out there looking for this data. And so in doing that, it may encourage other hackers, instead of trying to breach the clouds, try to breach the third party integration partners that are also housing data. They're either receiving and transmitting information, but they provide access to instead of a single company, and access to a multitude of companies. So while Salesforce has denied any direct compromise uh, to their system, the breach underlines the shared responsibility model of cloud security and the need for enterprises to actively monitor integrations and configurations. Again, security is holistic. It needs to be systemic to everything you do. It has to be built into the architecture. It has to be built into uh, the data at flight, the data at rest, uh, its consumption into the cloud, its production out of the cloud onto a network, its devices that are using to interface the data, such as the user interfaces people are using, it all has to be taken care of. You need to put a solid and sound security infrastructure around this or you're going to be at risk. 